Hey guys, welcome back to the Planner at Pixie Co. Show. Welcome to a week of new releases. So I've got some really stunning stuff for you guys this week. Um, new releases will go live this Friday, which is tomorrow at this point. Um, the 16th at noon Eastern Standard Time, 25% off excluding anything exclusive to the shop which I do have one of those and it's also a collab but first up I want to get into some foil colors I have three new foil colors for you guys so be sure to pick these three up to add to your sample collection if you don't have any of the samples I do sell them in a package deal you get all of them um, but do not purchase the buy all option until Friday or these three new colors will not be in there. So first up, I have, this is my favorite one. I have blue ice. So this is like our cracked ice and our red ice. So I thought blue ice, this actually goes with two of our kits this week. Um, next I have cotton candy. Can you tell the pink and the purple? This is like our candy corn. So I thought cotton candy could be fun. And then I've got matte bronze weave. Can you see the pattern on it? I thought this would be a fun take on matte bronze and it have like a little bit of pattern, a little bit of movement to it and it not just be that flat color. So that is our three new foil choices, you guys. And I love all of them, but definitely that's my favorite. You guys know I love the ones that are just sparkly. All right, so first up, let's get into our exclusive art. So this is another collab, this time with Lynn from Leonard Design. So I will leave her info below. You guys go check um, hers out and her new release video to see how she designed her kit and the foil that she made to go with hers. Um, this one is called She Shed, and I've had this idea in my head for probably well over a year at this point. So I'm glad to be able to finally make it come to life, and man, do I wish that that was my little She Shed there. It's so stinking cute. So you got like all of the crafty things. When I found this purse, I thought that was the cute, I, cutest thing. I had never seen anything like that before, like a fabric purse. It makes me want to try to make one, but also who has the time for that? I don't. <laughs> You've got some fabric stacks here. You've got some planners, journals, pens. You've got your cutie little fashion girl. It says Serial Crafter. You've got more planners, your paper slicer. I added some little cat paws in this one got your sewing machine and your little um like pin cushion with some buttons more fabric zippers thread all the crafty things so we do have our regular um options you've got your brown your blonde your redhead medium and dark skin options here is the washi sheet i'm obsessed so you do have a silhouette here, um, a cameo. You've got like some little button flowers and some foil or that could be vinyl, I guess, if you're into vinyl. That would be foil for me, but I just love the butterflies. Remember that with the, the foil I'm gonna show you. So I know I love these colors. These are my kind of colors for sure. So pretty. This is the 10 page ultimate kit. We do also have an eight page full kit. There's your deco sheet. Okay, um, let's do foil choices. So our new blue eyes goes really good with this. Look at that. So pretty. It just was very a happy coincidence that that foil color matched two kit. I think it actually goes with the other kit better than it does this one, but I, it does go with this one really good. Honestly, you could pull in the cotton candy with it if you wanted to go in that direction. Let's see. I think the, not the green hollow. I think the dusty rose could be pretty. Um, pink hollow for sure. Any of, sleep you guys, excuse me, any of your silver variations for sure, for sure, matte silver, your regular silver, 
Really any purple in it is there okay maybe not that one might be a little dark blue hollow nice um, if you wanted to do the cracked ice instead of the blue eyes I I think maybe maybe the blue glitter matte pink that would be a good choice um matte bronze i don't know about matte bronze here's the difference between the two so it is that matte bronze color it's just got the little like weave to it you guys can thank my pr team for naming that one i didn't it didn't even really occur to me that it looked like a basket weave so they pointed that out to me. All right, let's do the washi, I guess. I usually do that last, so I'm just going to yawn my way through this. So, I did do the lighter pink strip there, so I do have the blue. I've got pink. It's the darker pink. Um, there is this aqua color. And then I did the... Um, butterfly pattern in pink if you'd rather if you'd rather it be pink so that's that and then all of our other add-on options we do have a double box option it's inside the she shed i just wish my office looked like that period look how so organized so clean that's not that's that's not what i'm looking at me around me at all <laughs> i wish i wish and look at all the planners yeah wish I was that organized. We do have the labels, the checklist, the patterns, and then I do have some fashion options. So you've got your tall box there, and then that's what she shed. How stinking cute. And then I took the double box, put it in a smaller box, because I know not everybody uses the big double box. So you've got the smaller box option. Or your regular size box, I guess. We have all of our regular choices on this one. So that is She Shed. I did design a foil collection to go with this one. I took the butterflies to heart. Um, and I uh, revamped our butterfly pixie pack. So... I did it in pink hollow. I think that goes perfectly. Go ahead and get the kit out of the way. So this is our newer format, but like I said, I really revamped it, so it honestly looks completely different, I feel like. We've got the regular finer confetti um, underlays. I did keep the washi the same because I just really like this washi combo. And then here's our newest page to the format. You've got your tall box, your big double box, all of your flags, and then your two extra full box overlays. I do have some butterfly underlays. These were actually already in the shop, but I'm going to bring them to new releases just in case you want to pick them up. Y'all know I like the subtle underlays, but I do have the option for you guys that want to do more of a um, funderlay look. I did this in the cotton candy foil, just to give you a guys an idea. Like where I'm sitting, all I see is silver, but I'm sure it looks really pretty on camera because it looks really pretty in person. Um, those will be coming to new releases. And then I did do some uh, quote overlays. I feel like I haven't done quote overlays in so quite some time um so I've got two different quote overlays and then I did a sidebar quote overlay so um I just want to create beautiful things a crafty life is a happy life I can totally make that and then live love craft you've got crafters gonna craft eat sleep craft repeat crafting queen and then welcome to my craft room no you can't use my scissors <laughs> And then these are your sidebar quotes. We've got crafting mode on, handmade with love, craftologist, happy crafter, crafting is my therapy, craftiness is happiness, 
Um, and then I did do That's What She Shed and then just like a little um, ball of yarn. I started to say knit. That's not right. Like knitting yarn and a little heart. So that is the She Shed Collection. Now, these other ones, you guys, I am just going back and picking up art that I had bought and I hadn't used yet. So I know this art has been out for a little bit of time now, but I didn't want to not use it. And like, I want these kits for myself too. So, and I know some of you are waiting on me to do these. So this one is called Squeaky Clean. We need, we need a spring, a new spring cleaning kit, right? So very pastel -y. You guys know I love that. This is so cute. And I just scrub daddies. Can you, the, uh, it's so cute. I love it. I really need to do a good spring cleaning in my house. You got a kitchen scene there. I really love this pattern. You've got your solids, your patterns, your build do sheet glitter headers, all the boxes, all the roundeds, all the labels, deco sheets, and then let's do foil colors, obviously some silver hollow, wherever that's at, let's see. I feel like that's my just top only choice for this one. <laughs> Silver Hollow. It has to be Silver Hollow. I don't. I don't think there's the icy blue. If you want to see that, I don't really think that's the right color blue. But um, I was thinking coral all of a sudden, but I think the coral's a little too dark. But I mean, if you wanted to go with a darker, it is kind of a good match for like the darker color there. If you wanted to do a darker on it instead of like a lighter. Um, I mean, I guess the golds and stuff would go with it. Oh, there's gold hollow. You guys, I didn't even think. But rose sparkle, that could work. There's the gold glitter. Um, I do think probably the matte bronzes will go. Blue hollow. It might be a little bit off on that blue, but it could work. Your silver is probably sparkly hollow for sure. And silver hollow. I still think silver hollow is my top choice for this one. I do like, I do kind of like the blue hollow. It might be a little dark though. That's, that's my full choices. Okay. Um, we do have add-ons. You've got the double box that is a bedroom scene. We've got labels, uh, patterns, checklists. We've got fashion add-on. You've got your tall box here. Um, this one has a guy in it, which I think is different for like a cleaning one. I did do the bedroom scene again, just like over in the other kit in the um, smaller box there. So we've got all of our options. And then our washi options for this one. I chose that really pretty aqua. So let's see, we've got, we're gonna go with, this one is orange. This one is, I'm gonna say peach, pink. And then I did a different um, pattern here. This has little bubbles in it. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a cute little touch and also goes with the theme of my pixie pack. So I did design a whole new collection for this one. And it's so sick and cute. I did this one on silver just so you can get the detail a little bit better, but I did um, just regular headers over here and then I did bubbles. And then you've got some cleaning supplies. You've got a broom more bubbles. I did like a clothesline on those two. You've got like a mop bucket and then a um, vacuum cleaner. Have our regular underlays. You guys, 
I took the scrub daddies out of the uh, kit and I did them on the washi. I think that's the cutest thing ever. You've got some bubbles on your headers and then you've got bubbles on your other washi overlay. And then here is the back sheet. You've got your tall box with some bubbles. You've got the uh, little girl that's dusting. I guess a maid. I wish I had a maid. Um, you got some flags and then your extra boxes here. We do have bubble underlays already in shop, so I'm going to bring them to new releases in case you want to add those. And then I did also do a quote overlay for this one. So it says Dust Whisper, so fresh and so clean, cleaning service, and then this says cleaning is my thing, spring wiping, dust busting. So cute. All right, I've got one more weekly kit and one more foil collection. Again, this is art that's already been out for a little bit. I do think this was meant to be kind of like a wintry rain kit, but honestly, I feel like it works for any season. I think it would be great for spring, summer, winter, and fall, all of the above, because I don't know about y'all, but when it's rainy outside, I just want to be like, you know, cuddled up in my comfies and uh, warm clothes and all of that so I think it works um, this one is called walking in the rain and I love these colors and this is the other one that goes so good with that new foil color we'll get to that in a second but you've got your wax melts and some board games this cat I feel like he's seen some things I think he's on the catnip you know he's on the nip <laughs> um this is so cute so this did have like mittens with it and i excluded those because i feel like that did make it more wintry but i think i think this this way without the mittens i feel like it works for all the seasons you guys i really do all right here is your bottom washer you've got that extra box there so cute i need some boots like that not that I ever go outside when it's raining. I try to avoid doing that, but you know, sometimes you just have to. So it would be nice to have rain boots. I don't really have anything like that. All right, um, foil colors. For sure, wherever it went to, I'll have to find it again. Blue ice, but I'll find it. I think there's gonna be quite a few for this one. Let's see. There's the cracked ice, that's nice um let's see i need all of my purples because i think those will go perfectly and uh, lavender maybe plum plum can maybe work um uh, let's see uh, where are they all at Honestly, I think navy could be kind of fun with that one. Here's your lavender hollow, but y'all, look at this. It's perfect. Here's your lavender confetti. I like that one too. Silver hollow, sparkly hollow, all of your silvers, matte silver. I think the matte bronze probably would go good. There's the shifty one. Um, I think that's my choices. I love the blue ice. I feel like it's the perfect match. All right, all of the add-ons for this one, you've got a double box. It's like a bookstore in the rain. You've got labels. I did do an extra color, so if you wanted to add in the lighter purple, I've got you covered there. Checklists, patterns, your fashion options. I did the couple in the McTall box. I love it. Um, and then you got this cutie little girl with her glasses. And then your extra box here is a bedroom scene. All of our regular choices. And then let's get in to the washi. So I use that darker purple there. So I have the blue color. So that'll be dark blue. This will be light blue. This will be um, purple or I will just say purple and then gray. And then I did the cloud pattern. If you wanna do the raindrops and the clouds together, totally have that option. 
All right, I designed a whole new collection again for this one. And it's so cute. Okay. I did, I did this one in the matte bronze weave just so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. It's like the little checkered pattern that's so popular right now, pretty much. I could have called it matte bronze checker, I guess, but we'll stick with weave. I did raindrops on the headers. You've got raindrops here, and then you've got some clouds and an umbrella. More raindrops, cloud again, and then you've got some rain boots. Your regular underlays, and then here's the washi sheet. I think that turned out so good. So you've got umbrellas and rain clouds and then I did like raindrops here and then over here. Um, same uh, umbrella, raindrops, and then I did rain, rain, go away. And then here is your back sheet. I did this girl um, standing on an umbrella, under an umbrella for the tall box. I did the rain boots for the big box. You've got raindrops on your flags and then you've got raindrops these are different than the ones that are in the other part of the kit your two extra boxes and then if you want to bring in some thunder lays i did do the raindrops that match the headers this will be brand new to the shop they weren't already in shop look at that blue ice it's so stunning it's so pretty in person you guys you're gonna want to you're gonna want to pick something up in that color i do also have quilt overlays for this one as well look at me yo i was i feel very prepared this week um i did it's raining it's pouring without rain there would never be rainbows rain rain go away and then dance in the rain and then again this is in that matte bronze weave and that is what i got for you guys so i hope you guys like what i have for you this week um once again i want to say thank you guys for your patience and waiting on orders we are very, very close to being, I'm not gonna say caught up as I want to be, but more caught up than we've been in quite some time. We've got one more big batch. That includes mysteries that will go out early next week. And um, then we should be good and back on track. So, um, you guys let me know what you're most excited about, what you plan on picking up. Again, they will go live the 16th, Friday the 16th at noon Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you guys in shop on Friday, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!